Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate right now is a couple of stretches uh, put out by Gray Cook. Uh, Gray is uh, the developer of the Functional Movement Screen, also one of the lecturers on the Titleist Performance Institute. Uh, we're going to work on a um, stretch called the Bretzel. There's two positions basically designed to stretch out the front of your body, hip flexors, uh, also working on uh, thoracic rotation, upper body, and hips. Um, the other stretch actually focuses more on the back side of the body. So, uh, muscle imbalance being really key, usually most people are going to find one of these two stretches is going to be kind of their key stretch, really going to help loosen them up. Um, I'm going to show these from a couple different angles. The first one, basically, um, what you want to do is you can start out in a down dog position, if you're familiar with yoga, um, down dog position, starting here, and then we're going to come up, slightly back, drop the head. <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create as much of a drop in, and try to get the hips really high up into the air, and sink down. And this is basically just a, the starting position for the pretzel stretch. From here, we come down, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shoot my leg in, and what I'm trying to do here is create my thigh on a parallel line here, okay? And so, from this position, the back leg can just kind of be backwards here. I want to try to create a 90 degree angle here if I can. Depending on how tight your hips are, your leg may have to be more or less bent. I want my hands and try to get my shoulders square in front of me. And from here, I'm going to take my arm and I'm going to again try to anchor this down. And as I breathe out, I'm going to try to lower my body to the floor. Take another breath in. And what I'm doing is I'm stretching the hip, lower back, okay? From this side, start here, come up, down dog. Shoot the leg through, leg parallel here, thigh. Hands in front, try to get your shoulders square. For a lot of people, this might be as far as they get. If you're feeling the stretch here, this is where you stay. Work with what the body will give you, okay? Try to get the leg on a 90 degree angle here at the knee. From here, basically going to reach across, sandwich my arm down, breathe out. Couple of reps, usually two or three breaths is all you need. The other stretch, <clears throat> Basically, he's going to work the front side of the body. Okay, so for that one, what you're going to do is try to get your body on your side. You basically want to be completely on your side here. Leg out to the side. Again, try to create a 90 degree angle at the knee. The back leg, you're going to bend back here. If you have a lot of tightness in the quads and the front of the thigh, you can use a towel or a strap if you need to. What you want to try to do is grab around at the ankle, okay? The other arm is going to come over here and it's going to grab onto the knee. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to stay straight up and down here, okay? From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out, resisting with my arm, so it's an isometric contraction, and I'm also going to push down using my glutes. You know, not very hard, maybe 10, 20% of your muscle strength, just enough to contract the muscles. Then I'm gonna breathe out. And let the shoulder just rotate back up. Try to let your head be relaxed on the floor. Again, push, breathe out. Okay, so what that looks like from this side, again, here. Leg out to the side, back leg here. I'm gonna push with both legs, push, breathe out. Again, push, breathe out. So what I'm doing there is I'm trying to induce rotation through the hips and through my upper back. Don't want to have any rotation through the lower back. The lower back is not really designed to rotate. And typically what happens with most people, especially athletes, golfers, 
uh, they tend to lose mobility in their upper back and their hips. And that causes them to have to rotate through the lower back during the swing, and that's what induces a lot of damage. It can you know, herniate discs in the lower back, create a lot of problems. So um, the Titles Performance Institute talks a lot about this and their swing fault and their biomechanics. Um, you really need to get flexibility back into the hip uh, as well as the upper back, and this stretch uh, is very effective at doing that.